What's up guys, Joker94 today showing you guys how to make a 3D spinning watermark. Um, hold on, let me just clear these so it looks cleaner. So anyways, um, you'll be able to see this if you look at my um, commentary for Domination. It'll be my the video right before this. Um, that's what the, it will look like. I'm going to make, well, it'll say whatever you put in there, but I'm going to make one for RSP in this video. So anyways, you're going to go to New Composition in After Effects CS5 or 4. Um, match these settings, just pause the video, I'm not going to sit here and read them all off. So anyways, get to here, then you're going to go to Layer, New, sorry, hold on, I hate when it does this shit, Text, and I just tried to make this video and I totally forgot a whole entire step, which totally fucked the video. So anyways, yeah, by the way, right here is where you change the font type, the um, boldness or italic, whatever, the size, the color will change, but once you get to the next step, it changes. The color goes back to white, so I don't know. Paragraph, make sure that's set centered and type what you want to type in. I'm going to hit Control V to paste RSP Productions. <coughs> and sorry I'm coughing and. <coughs> voice sounds fucked up. My asshole friend got me sick, I think. It sucks. But, anyways, fuck that. Don't worry about it. So sorry if my voice sounds weird and I'm coughing a lot. My bad. So, anyways, next thing you're going to do is hit Layer, New. And hit tax. Oops, shit, not tax. Shit, 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 shit. Hit edit, undo. Okay, sorry. Hit new solid. Now make sure that white solid. Change that. Just hit this. Drag it all the way to white. Then hit OK. And hit OK again. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's gone! I'm just kidding. Don't worry. We're gonna fix that right now. You're gonna click and drag this down beneath RSP Productions. And then where it has this little eyeball, click that. Next thing you wanna do is go to effect simulation and go to shatter next you're gonna hit right here hit render then hit where it says shape where it says bricks change it to custom and then choose your text that you typed in and like I said see now it's white even though it's over here you'll see it says it's red but it change the text to white I don't know why so sorry about that if somebody does know a lot about um, after effects I don't know shit about it then you're gonna please tell me so anyways, next you're going to go to force and type in zero. Hit that. You don't have to hit that again, but I just do it so it doesn't get all in the way. Hit that. Then go to physics. Go to gravity. Hit zero. Then you're going to go to um, exposure death. Um, change this to 45. Oh, and um, back to physics. Right here, if you want the video, the thing to spin faster than normal, change it. I'm going to put mine at 50. Just so it spins a little bit faster and doesn't spin so slow. Hit that. Next thing you're going to do is go to camera positioning. And um, you're going to drag this out to about here. Then you're going to go to the Y rotation and just drag it like this to about here. And as you can see how this 3D... That's what this exposure depth made. So if you want this, the little, like the 3D blocking part to be thicker, then make this bigger, like the number bigger. If you want it to be skinnier, then change it to lower. And that's that part. Don't worry about the thing. This thing is slow. It happens when I record and render and do all this stuff at the same time. I know my computer can handle it. I don't know why it's saying that. I probably just have to delete some files. I have a lot of videos that I didn't make, like I'll start to make the video, I'll fuck it up or whatever, and I won't make it, or something like that, I just have to delete that stuff. So anyways, that part's done, or right there's done, I mean. Then you're going to click this little, um, little, uh, stopwatch, then drag it out to about six, eight seconds, and right here, just spin it all the way around. Then you're going to click and drag it out to about 18 seconds and do it again. Just spin it all the way around again. Okay. So once you do that, that part's good. Now you're going to go to Layer, New, Solid. And change this to a lime green. So just go right here, put it to green, and make it a very bright green. Hit OK. Hit OK again. <laughs> Once you do that, you're going to drag it to the very bottom, like that, and, um, yeah, you should be set. So now take this and drag it all the way back. That's what it will look like. 
don't worry, it won't look like that once you put it in Vegas. So now you're going to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. Um, hold on a second, let that pop up. Oh, never mind, it's right here, I forget. I'm so used to Vegas. And then hit Render. Don't Your settings should already be set up fine. Um, I don't know the settings I have, I just have them default, so just hit Render. Um, this will take about maybe five minutes at most. I'm going to go to the bathroom while this, ha while this renders, and I will see you guys... Well, you guys will only feel like a second because I'm going to pause the video and start it back up. So, see you in a second. Alright, so I'm back. Anyways, this is all done rendering. What you can want to do is import your intro, your video, put your color corrections on, your voiceover commentary, all of the stuff that you want to do. I'm going to mute the audio on this, by the way, just so um, um, you don't hear double audio on this. So, you're going to drag it on. This, is, by the way, is the uh, watermark I made. Oh, hold on a second. That's what it looks like, the text, but you probably can't see that very good. So, anyways, we're going to drag in the RSP1. Okay. So, what you're going to do, and as you can see, if you're on the clip, you can't see it. You can't see the clip, I mean. So, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the event FX. And then it will open up the little thing in a second. Just hold on. Okay, here you go. Sorry, I don't know why it's taking so long. Oh, shit. What the hell did I do now? Oh. Hit it again, sorry. Anyways, you're going to click in Sony Chroma Keyer. Hit Add, then hit OK. Alright, you're going to uncheck it right here. You're going to click the little water dropper. And then you're going to click right here on the green. Then you're going to go to click the water dropper again. Or check that again. And it exit. And then as you'll see, when you go on the clip, you can see it's there. And it's not going to, um, and it's not transparent no more. So, obviously, you don't want that right in the middle of your video because that will look like shit. So, you're going to go to the thing and you're going to hit Event Pan Crop. Then, you're going to, gonna, um, first, you're going to take this and drag it. Oops, never mind. Yeah, you're going to drag it really big like that. Then, you're going to take it and depending on what corner you want, you're going to go the opposite way. So, I want it in the bottom left corner, so I'm going to drag mine up like this. And then hit Exit and see how it looks drag it the full length of the video too so as you can see it's right there and it's gonna spin it's just slow well, it looks laggy because it's previewing, but once you render it, it won't be all laggy. And, uh, yeah, so there you go, it's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, it gets cut off a little bit there, so you're going to want to go to there. Properties, and uncheck maintain aspect ratio. And then you're going to gotta go to event pan crop. And you're just going to um, drag it this way a little bit more. I'm also going to make it just a little bit bigger, smaller. So. Oops, wrong way. Hold on a second, guys. Drag it back that way. And then, let's see. Hold on a second. Alright, so. Basically, you see, I get a little bit cut off right there. But, um... I'm not going to sit here and waste your time making you watch me perfect, make it perfect. Just You guys know what I mean. Just crop it, make it smaller, make it bigger, move it over a little bit, etc. Then just render your video out however you render it. And that's it, guys. Um, like I said, sorry, I do not know how to put colors to the word. Um, if I would, I would make it red, obviously, because RSP is red. But, um, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and a comment. And I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye.